Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here, and today we're going to be talking about the new Iron Banner hand cannon, the Lingering Song. So this can drop randomly once you have gotten Iron Banner rank 3, and all the way up through rank 5, it can just drop randomly after games. Now, I got this thing not too far into my Iron Banner. Just at the beginning of rank 3, I got it as a random drop, and let me tell you guys, the role that I got on this thing is absolutely incredible. We have Hand Light Stock, Reinforced Barrel, Quick Draw, Extended Mag, Luck in the chamber and triple tap. And if you look closely, you'll see that the impact is almost completely maxed out on this hand cannon. Now, this thing is absolutely incredible, especially with light level advantages enabled. So, today we're going to hop into some gameplay here, and I'm going to show you guys just how good this thing is and give you guys just sort of a mini review and comparison to some of the other weapons in the game. So, if you're familiar with the Mongo Loop or like an Eyes Luna or something like that, you will find this hand cannon to be quite similar. However, this hand cannon seems to handle just a little bit better than both of those. I did do a review on the Eyes Luna just a little bit back, and I did used to think that that was one of the best hand cannons in the game, at least for my playstyle and preferences. But now after using this Lingering Song, especially with the Luck in the Chamber roll, this thing does seem to be one of the better hand cannons in the game, and it is definitely my new favorite. So with the high impact and certain light level advantage situations, you can easily kill somebody with two bullets without even using the Luck in the Chamber round. Now when you are using the Luck in the Chamber round, I've seen this hand cannon hit up to 135 damage in just a single bullet, so that is absolutely incredible, and this thing does seem to two-shot people quite frequently, even with the light level advantages off. So this hand cannon is extremely versatile, it definitely is really ridiculously good. Now the range on it is also quite good, especially with the perks that I have on it. Now if I want to go for that really max stability roll on it, the range does get lower just a little bit, so depending on the rolls you have on there, the range may change for you, but for me, the range is definitely perfect where it is at. And even without those stability perks, I'm easily able to land a good majority of my shots, and a lot of them do seem to be criticals, which is quite nice. Now it's not like some of the other hand cannons in the game that only have like 4 or 5 bullets in the clip but have luck in the chamber so you're going to be almost guaranteed to get that lucky bullet off. But when the lucky bullet does make its way out of this gun you can just basically 2 tap it, whoever it is that you're going to shoot. And especially when taking down supers this luck in the chamber round really does come in handy and does about 70 to 80 damage to a super making it a lot easier to take them down if they're rushing at you. Now when I run this hand cannon I do suggest wearing some sort of gauntlets that might increase the reload speed because it is a little sluggish. And if you're trying to rush or play Rift or some sort of game mode, then you're going to have to be reloading a lot. It's definitely better if you have a reloading perk on, just so you can do a little bit more damage, just a little bit faster. Other than that, though, this gun is extremely good, and there is even a perk to lower the reload time if you'd like. But I just want to maximize the actual performance of the gun, and then I can just use the gauntlets for the reload speed later. So definitely try to grind out the Iron Banner, guys. If you can end up getting one of these hand cannons with a really good roll on it, this is definitely going to be one of the guns that you're going to be wanting to get in the Rise of Iron. This is by far my new favorite hand cannon in Destiny, and I'm not going to see myself switching back to any other hand cannon for quite some time. I really just want to get used to this thing as much as possible because of how good of a roll I got on it. So let me know if you've seen this hand cannon in action or used it yourself, maybe without luck in the chamber or a better roll down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about the Lingering Song. I definitely really do like this thing, and I'm definitely going to be using it in trials sometime this weekend. Just depending on the map, I definitely can see using this in a lot of competitive situations. Especially when going for those headshots, this thing just seems to rip through everybody, and the amount of damage that it does is truly amazing, allowing for really easy assists as well. So I'm definitely going to be using this hand cannon for the next couple weeks. I haven't seen anything as good come out of the Iron Banner so far. The Pulse Rifle is nice, and so is the Auto. But this hand cannon is definitely by far my favorite weapon I've seen in the Rise of Iron so far. And if you guys have the chance, I would definitely try to grind this out sometime this week in the Iron Banner. It doesn't take too long to get to rank 3, so you should have an easy time at least trying to get to that. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this quick little review of the Lingering Song. If you did, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're not already for future Destiny videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.